don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell After the emphatic a win, not so emphatic, it was a 1-0 win, uh, but it qualified them to the semi-final. After that win versus Nigeria on Wednesday afternoon, uh, that was how the Black Satellites began their recovery training session, singing some songs, as we already know how uh, the Ghana national football teams are used to doing. Welcome back uh, to Sahara Football. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawi. Uh, today we're going to break down the black satellites recovery session and uh, what they did during the recovery session and also uh, the red card they got what it will mean for their next game uh, which they will play against ivory coast on saturday afternoon subscribe if you haven't uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so the black satellites of ghana they held uh, their recovery training session at the saint louis stadium in Krake on thursday after their big win over nigeria which qualified them uh, to the next stage of the competition which was the semi-final now nigeria have been knocked out uh, by the ghana black satellites following uh, this uh, loss uh, they suffered at their hands they have been eliminated Cote d'Ivoire can join Ghana in the next stage should they get at least a draw. A minimum of a draw is okay, but and they can lose still and make it. Now, under the supervision of coach Karim Zito and his technical staff, uh, the entire team trained uh, but separately. Now, the 14 players who played against Nigeria on Wednesday trained separately from the remainder of the players who did not have playing time, as well as the three players who picked Knox uh, during the game. Now, the technical team was happy uh, following the ability of Philemon Bafo uh, to train for the entire duration of the session. Now, Philemon suffered an injury uh, during the game and was forced out uh, the game after clearing a dangerous ball that could have seen Nigeria equalize. Now, Ghana beat Nigeria by a lone goal from a precious Boa free kick on well to take their chances they failed to make it count even when they were leading against ivory coast i think uh, they slipped up and uh, considered a late late goal so it's something that the nigeria team has to work on unfortunately they have to work on it in another tournament that means they won't be at the under 20 afcon next year that's for the nigeria super eagles uh, so for group a um, the host benin are still in there with a shout after their second game win uh, following uh, their first game loss they have three points also in there with a shout and possibly can't make it uh, to the next round so we'll be looking forward to see the ghana black satellite versus ivory coast on saturday i'll be following it closely this channel you know will bring you the latest update on that uh, front i'll end with news uh, from ghanaian player kojo asamwa now kojo asamwa is someone who has not been lucky of late he was his contract was terminated uh, with his club side inter milan and now he is in training uh, training extensively to secure a move uh, to Sampdoria. And now Kojo Asamoa, the Black Stars, former Black Stars midfielder, has intensified his personal training ahead of his eminent move to Syria outside Sampdoria. Now the free agent has been training as he continues to keep his fitness for the January transfer window. Now Asamoa was close to joining Sampdoria on the summer deadline transfer day, but following a last minute hitch, the move stalled. However, sources close to the player have revealed, and this is according to Ghana Soccernet, uh, that Sampdoria manager Claudio Ranieri is a big fan of the versatile player and wants him in the club. Uh, the former Udinese and Juventus player terminated his contract uh, with Inter Milan in at the end of the season. The contract was terminated by Inter actually. Now, Kojo Asamoah's agent Federico Pastorello has a good relationship with Sampdoria having facilitated the rivals of Adrian Silva, Antonio Candreva and Keita Baldi all from Inter Milan. Uh, the Ghana International has also been linked with move to the MLS and Turkey and I also have to note he has been linked with a move to Udinese, his former club uh, where he's began his career in Italy. So Kojo Samoa they're looking uh, to get a new club 
uh, we hope he finds it we hope uh, it goes on well for him he has suffered this year 2020 he hasn't kicked the ball for his club side and getting a club now will be a huge relief for him Udenize is also one of the clubs who are in talks with him to make a move to that side so we'll be keeping you posted on the situation with Kojo Asamoah he has intensified his training and uh, we'll see how things go for him and we hope he does get a club because uh, without a club uh, maybe his international career might be over uh, but his career as a footballer he's just 31 years and uh, that many people consider uh, the prime before the twilight so he has to make use of his uh, 31 years age of experience for some clubs and a club might be interested so keep you posted on Kojua Samoa and that has been it for today looking at the black satellites having a recovery training session as they prepare for their clash with Ivory Coast who have a chance to make it to the next round should they draw at least uh, with Ghana they can lose and make it through but that will depend on goal difference and other factors your thoughts in the comments box on everything Ghana versus Ivory Coast on Saturday Kojo Asamoa likely to join Sampdoria with Denise and MLS moves also likely but the top club is Sampdoria Enjoy your day.